Sunday marks the 30 years since the first reported case of AIDS in your nine health reports. Some new numbers out this week paint a sobering picture of the AIDS epidemic worldwide. An alliance of organizations led by the United Nations reports that every single day 2,500 young people around the world are infected with HIV. What's more shocking, 41% of the new cases are 15 to 24 year olds. By some estimates, it can cost as much as $20,000 a year to treat somebody with HIV, and many simply cannot afford it. That is where you come in. Joining us now is Kyle across Hi the studio. Hi there, Gary. I have Randy Goldberg and Ryan Harris as well. They've got their Colorado AIDS Life Cycle shirts on. You're getting ready to go out to California. Uh, for tomorrow you leave? Yes, we leave yes. tomorrow. Tell us about this ride. You've been doing it for many years. Um, it's a ride called AIDS Life Cycle, and we actually ride our bikes from San Francisco to Los Angeles. This is the 10th year anniversary of the ride, so it's a very big deal. Um, it's a fundraiser, so um, each participant is um, required to raise $3,000 minimum. Okay. okay. I was looking at the website. Some yes. people have raised... Three times that. Yes, this is yes, a they huge have. fundraiser. It's a huge one. I would say it's the biggest AIDS fundraiser in the country right now. Wow. 80 miles a day you're going to have to ride starting Sunday. On average, are I think you, it's 86. Are you ready for that? I am, yeah. I'm ready. It's it's an exciting thing. It's, it's exhausting to the point where you want to cry every day. But it's so exciting when you realize that there's people on the side of the road that you're helping. And there's every single day of the ride you see people that you're saving their life. And I know. You know as Gary mentioned, it, the estimate is about $20,000 a year to treat somebody with HIV. Yes. It's so expensive, and not everybody has that kind of money. So this, this bike race will help those people. And you guys have a team for Colorado, so, right? Um, we decided many years ago uh, that there were so many of us that enjoyed this ride from Colorado that we would form a little team and call it Team Colorado. We're actually the second largest team Are right you? now on the ride, uh, which is amazing and so every year our goal is to both grow the team and to encourage people to join us and if they can't join you physically they could join the cause and, and pledge and support you guys yes. With, without a doubt without a doubt how um, does somebody do that we have a website it's teamcolorado.net okay. and they can either donate to the whole team or they can pick a participant and donate specifically to that person um, all the money goes to the same place and so it's just a very important cause do you have friends or relatives who have heard dealing with this virus and the disease and, and do you keep them in mind the whole time Yes. I have friends. I don't have any relatives, but and it's interesting to know at the at the event when they have someone stand up and say who's positive in this, in this room. It's amazing to see how many people stand up mm -hmm. and how many people are actually affected with this disease. Mm -hmm. so. And you do too. Um, I do too, and um, have grown up with it since I was a teenager, uh -huh. and so it's always kind of been in in my face. And I think right now it's not the the stigma disease and I feel right. like people have kind of forgotten that it exists and that's why that's why it's so important to ride. Because people think oh there are drugs that'll help people yes. who have this virus. Well it, people are still getting the virus. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Um, people are still getting it and I think um, the New York Times was mentioning that the biggest problem now is that since it's not a death sentence which is fantastic mm -hmm. that they're treating people who are in their 50s whose bodies reacting like they're in their 70s or their 80s. Really? And that's the hardest part of it. Well, thank you for raising the money. Thank, thank you for you. raising the awareness thank and representing you. Colorado. You guys have a great time. They go along the, the, the coastline through strawberry fields. I mm -hmm. hear it's just different yeah. terrain every day. It sounds like it's going to be a fabulous week. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, we do have more information about teamcolorado.net. We've got it on our morning show page. And the whole race in general. I was looking at the website this morning. It sounds like it's just going to be a fabulous event again this year. Randy and Ryan, thank you so much. Gary, back to you.